All over the city of St. Louis, there are a lot of gardens, and I don't just mean in backyards, but in what had been empty lots. Some of them are just sort of pop-up gardens, others are much more elaborate, like the one that Brooke Butler's been visiting. There's a lot more to it than meets the eye. Over the years, you know, I've been involved in urban ministry work over the years, and it's been wonderful, my wife and I and kids. And, but sometimes uh, I think, if I could pick anything that I wanted to do, I'd be a farmer out in the country, no people, just work, you know? And, uh, Pastor Andy Krumzik, while still doing urban ministry, can technically add farmer to his job description, as he and the community at Jubilee Church have made great strides to convert this abandoned lot into a premier organic farm in the heart of North St. Louis. Located in the neighborhood of Fairgrounds, the community the church serves is in the middle of a food desert, an urban area in which affordable, fresh foods are difficult to find. St. Louis has its fair share of these areas with about 769,000 residents living further than a mile of a grocery store. But the good news? There are a lot of people out there working to solve this problem. Urban gardens seem to be sprouting up all over the city, as are the growing partnerships that make them successful. What was just a vacant lot behind Jubilee Church off North Grand has brought together environmentalists, food landscapers, and community members in what they call Project Oasis. They're gonna have veggies, fruits, stuff right here in the community because we don't have a Whole Foods or we don't really have a market that they can go to to get these things. If they can get it right here fresh right now, then that would be perfect for them. After purchasing the lot from the city, the group at Jubilee were looking for ways to fund their visions of the garden. That's how they were led to partner with MSD. The Metropolitan St. Louis Sewer District, or MSD, has an initiative called Project Clear. It's a long-term effort to improve the water quality for the entire St. Louis region by repairing and maintaining the drainage and sewage systems. This effort will take about 28 years, a hefty project to undertake, but is within reach by taking small steps like helping this garden. With MSD's funding, Project Oasis was able to install a 150,000 gallon water retention system. It gathers rainwater from the roof of the church and sends it into a cistern, which is located underneath the garden. This, of course, waters the plants without having to pay for water, and in turn, it prevents that stormwater from going into the sewer system, which we all know from driving in the city can be a flood hazard during heavy rainfall. When hearing about the grant from MSD, another partnership came into play for Project Oasis. The Nature Conservancy has been advocating for green space community projects like this to provide support and education around water management. Rebecca Weaver, the city program manager, has been involved with the project from the planning stages. In St. Louis, stormwater is a huge challenge. Um, and part of the reason that uh, it's important for us to collaborate directly with partners is that um, we know that these projects are not going to be sustainable if they're not coming from within the community. Um, so as much of a focus as this project is on water management, it's also collaborating and being in community with our partners here in St. Louis. I'm surprised he did it. With a plan in place on how to water and manage the garden, it was time to select the plants. This sparked yet another partnership with Custom Foodscaping, a local company that creates individualized food producing landscapes. Just by planting the plants and creating something beautiful, we create interest and intrigue. Questions are asked and we have an opportunity to educate people, which is the first step to doing all this stuff. Right? How do we get away from so much packaged, processed food, high sugar food, and get people into a place where they're more familiar with fresh fruits and vegetables? And then the, the final um, piece there is actually, you know, the economic piece. It's like the actual production and use it as a means for economic prosperity, to create fundraisers, to help give job training. Um, there's a whole myriad of goals that Jubilee is seeking with a project like this for what to do with the produce. But this project will turn out to be much more than just a garden. Project Oasis is an example of how anchor institutions in cities, like churches, can mitigate stormwater challenges and increase community resilience through partnership support. And the partnerships continue to grow. In addition to the current job opportunities, they're also undertaking a green jobs training program, which will help ensure project sustainability. They can come in, they can work, and it'll teach them basically 
help them to survive in this community because our community is kind of like, like you said, a desert. And not only with food, but with education and with job opportunities. We're, we're going to plant these things. We're going to use these things. We're going to uh, sell some out. But we're also going to keep them here so that the community can have them.